So we're gonna get going with our basic desensitizing. And with our basic desensitizing, what I wanna do is just make sure that he's comfortable with my steady stick. And he's actually so far doing pretty well. But before I get into it, what I wanna do is make sure that I am in a safe position with my horse. So I'm gonna hold my lead rope up pretty short, about two feet from the clip, definitely no more than that, okay? So about two feet from my hand, to the clip, right? I'm gonna keep my hand up nice and high, kind of by his eye. That way, if that face comes towards me or he tries to run over me, he will protect, see, that eye and move it away from me and not come over the top of me. So hand up high. And then I'm gonna stand at a 45 degree angle from him. When I mean by 45, if you picture, let me step him over here. Good boy. If you picture a straight line coming out of, say, that front foot that way, okay? and then another line coming across that way from that front foot. Then we're gonna come right down in the middle of that and split that in half. That's a 45 degree angle. I'm standing in that 45. What that does is it positions me where I'm not directly in front, where if he freaks out, where he can't come over the top of me and hurt me, right? And it also puts me off to the shoulder where if he were to strike out with that front leg, I'm not in the strike zone. I can keep that hand up high and stay safe. Another reason for keeping this rope short is that with this rope short, I can stay and float with him in position. If I have this rope really long, if he spins around, he can kick me and take me out if something goes wrong, okay? Again, he hasn't been handled at all. Um, the only handling is the work that I've done with him over the last 30, 40 minutes or so, teaching him how to catch him and halter him and all that kind of stuff. So this is all new to him. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work with just kind of just showing him the stick and I like to at first kind of go from side to side. And you see how he's kind of just kind of dancing around, okay? So if he dances, I'm going to keep going from side to side until he relaxes. And by relaxing, I wanna see him one, stop moving, but also two, I wanna make sure that he either takes a deep breath, that's a good sign that a horse is relaxing, right? I wanna see that he uh, maybe licks or chews when our horses kind of lick or chew. That's a good sign that they're relaxing. He took a deep breath there. He's also been standing for a little bit. That's why I took the pressure away a second ago. So we're really gonna look for one of those signs like we talked about earlier uh, to show us that he is relaxed and comfortable and confident with us, okay?